Hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm so excited to talk about my Dracenia plants. I want to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. You guys are amazing. You know, we've been meeting so many new people here on YouTube and it's just so amazing to connect with all of you, get to know you guys, get to know your story and what you're doing. I am such a country girl. I love being out in nature, digging in the dirt and fishing, being on a boat, um, just watching the trees, the sun and the trees and stuff. And it's just so amazing to get to share that with all of you lovely people out there. So thank you so much for coming by my channel. I really appreciate all of you in your own little way. And you bring so much to the table for me as well. You know, you're teaching me so much, you know, that I don't already know. I would have never thought to hook up with 2290 Brewing, which is a beer company or, you know, Mrs. New Orleans or, um, we met Homestead, which she cans her own foods, and she does like medicinal plants. She brews teas and stuff, which help you with stomach problems and things like that. So, you know, it's just so amazing. Paula, she is a secret horticulturist, which she went to college for, and she just done, she was in so many forests and has visited so many native lands, which are, are amazing to hear and see. So it's great to get to know the stories behind everyone in their channel. So thank you so much. You know, I'm sorry if I didn't name anybody. All of you mean just equal to me and just, you're all the same. You know, you, you all mean so much to me and we're just a little family here. I love talking on Paula's lives every morning too. If you guys have never joined us, please join us in the morning. It's an amazing chat to be in and we all just love on each other. You know, give love and receive love. That is, that is what it's all about, you know, giving and receiving. So we're going to talk about these lovely Dracenia plants I have in the house. We grow them indoors and they require really low light. So how you want to water is from the top. They are in a um, three quarters percent burpee potting mix and one quarter of my succulent cactus and palm mix, which is really good for these guys because they really just like a, an airy soil. They require a little bit more of air around their roots because they tend to rot out a little faster. Now this little guy, these, these little girls actually, they this is two years old, my Dracenia, Janet Craig. She's a Compactica and this is a um, Dracenia Warnecki, which is another compact variety. And they're not gonna get very, very big, you know, as big as the regular <clears throat> Dracenias, but they are gonna get pretty big. So we transplanted this one. It's doing really well since then. We transplanted this one in this beautiful container, which she's doing well as well. So when I water, I water from the spout at the top and then let it drain out, flush out all the way down. You'll see it running through. And then you wanna water around your pot. Make sure it's all the way soaked, all the way around. You can go ahead, turn your pots a little bit. Go ahead and water that little baby a little more. And you know it's good when that water starts running out from the bottom. Now once it starts hitting out that bottom, you can then go ahead and stop watering, let that water run out in that dish a little bit, and then you can go ahead and discard it and go ahead and put it back on the windowsill. Now when you're spraying, we've been getting fungus gnats, and I like to spray my, all my plants, especially when they're just transplanted, um, for the first couple of weeks after I transplant, because you know transplant shock can happen, um, just a bunch of things. And from transplanting a new soil, from that was sitting outside all my soil stays outside right now I can't wait to get a farm and a garden just so I can have like a shed and put all my stuff in there so it's bug free and uh, kept away from all that stuff but we're gonna go ahead and spray so I want to show you how to go ahead and do that we're just gonna get around here and spray her so you want to go ahead and mist it you don't want to spray too much especially if you're using a wood table underneath so be careful with that and um, once you spray the leaves, you can then go ahead and start, oops, start, I just sprayed you guys. Start spraying the soil all the way around. Turn your pot, and then you can do the same. And that will help this neem oil is in here. So I use two tablespoons of neem oil per gallon of water mixed in with a quarter teaspoon of Dawn. Mix it all around. It's non-scented Dawn or any kind of dish soap is good. And then, um, you know, this is really important, especially after transplanting, guys, because you can have bugs in the soil. We've just been getting a lot of gnat problems around here. Fungus gnats, regular fruit fly gnats, um, just any kind of thing you can think of, mosquitoes. So I'm gonna show you a little trick with a apple cider and soap mixture. We'll do that in another video real quick, um, but look out for that. I'll, I'll keep, keep an eye out for that because that really helps my garden to stay healthy indoors. It, all the gnats go in that container, that glass jar, and just they die, so <laughs> I like that. It gets rid of them right away, and um, they can't get back out from the soap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These stay in my eastern facing exposure, which is right here. 
then they get about four to six hours of sun a day. Now that is direct sun on them, but they stay like further back in the windowsill because if you don't want the sun beating on them too much, especially in that bright windowsill, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna burn and, and you'll see that burning spots on them and you'll know if it's too much sun. Um, they're great in apartments because they do really well in four hours. They do just great in that. And then, um, you know, you can also keep them in another window. If it's not working, you can always switch your plants around. Just acclimate them to the new spot really slowly and you should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you. I can't thank you enough for coming by and checking me out. We're going to have so much fun growing together. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you. It's what I love to do. Thank you so much for coming by. See you next time. Have a great day.